So let us go to the options of uh, the nodes under uh, the node options under the node transactions. Now, this is this these reports will give you uh, information about transaction codes. For example, if you click on executable for users, you'll have to enter the user ID and uh, it will give you a list of transactions which that user can execute. So you get a list of transaction codes that a user can execute. Now this doesn't tell you from which roles uh, does that user get those uh, transaction codes. It just gives you a list of transaction codes. Uh, to find this information out, you would have to, from the table standpoint, you would use, first you have to find out what roles are assigned to the users using the table AJ underscore users. And then taking that table, those, that list of table, you go to AJ underscore T codes and pull out the transaction codes. Uh, same thing by uh, roles. Now you give a role name, it will tell you what transaction codes are part of that role. list of transactions and it will also give you the count, the number of transaction codes in that row. As you go to the profile, you give a profile name, it will give you the transaction codes in that profile. And same thing with authorization. Okay, so this is what you have. So if you want to find out information, user ID information or role information about a role, a role uh, of my, the executable transaction codes, then you can use the options in the transaction node.